विवेक सो वॉट इज योर एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम दिस बजट well see uh, i have recently written about it also that government will be under a lot of pressure to make this budget a little uh, populist populist as in there will be a lot of uh, you know at least posturing to show the farmers that they are doing something see over the last 6 8 months what you have seen is a lot of things have, have happened in punjab and uh, in up and everywhere where the farmers agitation has actually you know kind of paralyzed the government in taking any decision so this is uh, the budget probably they'll try to set a lot of things right and after this after the budget uh, over the next 6 7 8 months there are uh, almost about 6 to 7 elections which are coming up with the up election being the biggest one now in up the situation is such that the western up could be a very critical uh, you know situation critical point for the government and for the up government as well so somewhere the farmer agitation is very strong there some something something uh, they have to provide in the budget for the farmers making it a, a little bit populist budget first thing second thing is i mean it will depend upon how much they give because uh, after this very soon there will be the uh, uh, the achar sanghita will be uh, you know imposed and governments government will not be able to do anything over and above what they are doing now they cannot uh, you know um, come up with any uh, specific scheme which the which the election commission or someone can uh, you know um, argue against so probably they will try to do everything in the budget second thing will be that uh, <clears throat> they have been talking about uh, cutting down on the tax soaps um, the tax collections have been very good last year uh, despite government rolling out a lot of a lot of uh, you know temporary um, benefits to the industry i think some of that will be rolled uh, 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 you know taken back uh, i don't think they will try to touch the income um, the personal income tax um, area there is nothing to be done actually uh, they have they they want to move into a system where uh, you know the individual any individual does not have uh, the the various you know deductions that we used to have so probably some some announcements will be on that line as well to reduce that uh, the different types of deductions that we have and probably come in come under only one single uh, you know method where where the overall lines in the tax uh, uh, sheet reduces so these are few uh, broader points that i'm seeing so budget overall will be a little uh, populist and if the government does not uh, you know bow uh, before the uh, bow to the pressures of the election then probably yes. we are going to have a very good budget yes what you said is right and i agree with you especially when if you look at uh, the rate hikes which fed is going to come up with if that happens india would also by default will have to go in for rate hikes and if they go in for rate hikes they need higher tax collection they just can't yeah i i think you are what you saying is right what what's your view of jatan uh i agree with i mean vivek whatever you said that this is going to be a populist budget be uh, considering the elections coming only thing we need to watch out is there shouldn't be i mean anything negative on the side of corporate i don't think so they will do it but uh that would be the part that we would be looking because definitely they are not going they are not going to be any negative news on the like uh, farmer side or anything that affects their win i mean chances of winning or anything on the election side so it our focus should be on the like uh, the negative side because positive everyone is expecting that okay something it would be positive but uh, how we take on the i mean counts the negative point that also we need to be aware of that there shouldn't be anything negative otherwise it would be good that we won't do, uh, see uh, like major downside uh, i mean as i don't see any negative as of now 
because of the election things one is the elections and also again if you look at imf growth story imf is saying that they're expecting india to grow around i think 9% if i'm not yeah for, the, for this year 9% for so this year 9% right right yeah gdp per capita yes so if they come up with something negative too much negative for the corporates this growth momentum may stop and i doubt they are going to do that you know yeah i don't think so they will do that so one so, thing one thing that uh, the corporates will have to you know face uh, in the next few months is that as and when uh, as you have also also mentioned that as and when our uh, fed starts to hike rates the short term the impact on the bond yields have started to show mm-hmm. so the short term yield rates are already going up for the corporates they are already under pressure in that sense so uh, so i i think you're right that probably government will not try to you know uh, um, do something which kind of complicates the problems for corporates uh, who would be under pressure because of the rising rates uh, for fy22 yeah i agree with that so jatan to you what are the markets looking like for the budgets in terms of charting uh what are so your charts in terms of in terms of charting and the data uh, so if you look at the nifty nifty uh, people have i mean uh, the position that built up is like at the money put and little bit in the money put riding also you can see on 17314 Fourteen hundred, seventeen thousand four hundred. So looks like that maybe people has taken the bullish view for before the budget. Maybe we can see little bit volatility after the budget announcement or what happens. Uh, I mean after the mams start speaking, but before that uh, budget time. I mean uh, like before she starts, it's like uh, we can see little bit upside on the market, and then based on the how the sentiments. I mean uh, it's after the speech. then we can see uh, that time data built up but as of now the chart looks bullish and the data also looks bullish pair of nifty also like it had a support and uh, i mean uh, even after the today's dip it didn't break that support that it uh, i mean that uh, uh, was formed uh, two days before i mean it broke that 37000 let's uh, just me that 37 800 was the resistance before 7800 37700 and 800 was the resistance before so it's respecting that so as of now i don't see any weakness on the chart and the data but yeah, yeah that that can change any time right i mean after the budget announcement or anything so we need to watch it out carefully but uh, yeah for the morning hours before the budget it looks bullish yes and uh, it really it was very interesting to watch bank nifty especially the way it came down in the morning and touched the 5 dma and all your most of the dmas are there only 5 and 100 so from there it took support and uh, you know moved up that way yeah very true vivek what's your take on open interest so what are the open interest build up telling us for nifty and bank nifty but i think we uh, missed i think vivek is not there right now so jatin what's your take on nifty and bank nifty in terms of option chain what are the option chains okay same so vivek you can, right, you can also right. so so for yeah. um, you know for immediate tomorrow as of now what the data is saying that probably we are not going down uh, 17000 for nifty is a very very strong support even today uh, there have been a lot of writing uh, puts on the 17000 uh, level and overall data even if you see that 17000 is going to hold i don't know i mean as of now it is looking like that and until unless uh, something bad comes up in the budget probably we are going uh, going higher for the month also we are seeing that the max i mean there's a lot of put writing which has happened in 17500 levels that means that at least i mean uh, market close at 17339 but you can see that a lot of uh, writing uh, put writing has happened on on uh, 17500 even uh, as of now you can see that there is about 2.8 million puts standing 
on 17500 which is giving it a lot of uh, you know strength now the other thing is that because ivs have been rising this could be a lot of put uh, instead i mean the uh, this uh, the open interest that has increased could be because of buying as well but yes yeah, but there is a very high chance that this are uh, these are mostly uh, the long uh, long uh, puts and at least for the for the near term at least before uh, the budget ends we are probably not going to uh, go lower budget uh, i mean until unless budget gives something very drastically uh, negative market wants to go higher that's that's visible uh, as per uh, levels as well uh, open interest data i think before budget could be a little dicey because of the iv rise if iv is uh, fall then uh, you can always say that there's more uh, i mean aggressive call writing going on because of the iv rise because of the event it gets a little dicey but if you go and uh, check this on the on the uh, um, technical charts as well we are seeing that there's a lot of uh, you know support comes every time every time market uh, goes near 17000 so i think for now we are going to protect 17000 and uh, nifty is kind of in an oversold territory uh, so there could be there is a possibility of a good possibility of a decent bounce back to about 17600 17700 uh, around th- from there probably will sell off because uh, uh, the longer term charts are not very positive so that's that's my view uh, in the near term i'm kind of bullish but as the month ends possibly and also because by the time month ends there will be mo- a lot more chatter about uh, fed uh, increasing rates in march and uh, until unless there's a there's a downtick in the inflation curve uh, for uh, us probably uh, the risk for our markets is also going to increase on the same note if you see uh, the dow jones chart dow jones cha- dow jones also took a support around 34000 it's a very critical support for them and they have bounced from there so until uh, that 34000 support is broken most of the world is safe if 34000 breaks then the pressure will be felt across uh, different indices across the world very true and we were if you look at the nasdaq and the dow jones nasdaq was like up by 3% last and i'm not really not sure is it the global market which is moving up or nifty because of budget sometimes i mean i get confused so like we that at least shows us that globally you know we are somewhere bottomed out and now we are moving up and nifty and bank nifty is supportive Uh, Jatin, this question is to you now. Any sectoral view for this budget? Any specific sectors are uh, which are looking like you know? Uh, really sure. PSU. I mean, uh, from technical point of view, PSU banks are looking good. I mean, I already had position in that. Uh, so I mean, those are moving well from last uh, week itself. So. there is one sector that i would i and other one is auto sector that is also looking good some of like uh, tata motors was good today uh, i mean it has results but other uh, some stocks are also looking good from that particular sector like maruti did break out and after that uh, i mean it's, it's sustaining above that breakout so that is also one good uh, i mean counter in that particular sector so overall these two things things are looking good as of now but uh, i mean uh, we can have eye on other stocks as well like uh, i mean uh, related to agris or that benefits i mean as the budget, budget comes so i mean we can have eye on those sector as well thank you jatin vivek what's your take Uh, PSU so, uh, yeah, as, as uh, Jatin also uh, J- Jatin mentioned that I'm also uh, you know there's there's a fundamentally uh, fundamental story why why banks should be doing well, which I uh, I uh, um, you know mentioned earlier also that the short term rates are increasing, and uh, that and see when short term rates increase but there is not actual increase by the by the RBI governor, 
the banks get a you know a window where they are making more names more uh, higher margins basically okay so uh, their cost of capital is still low while they are getting uh, while the new loans that they'll be uh, you know disbursing will be at a higher rate so you can see that tech, uh, fundamentally also banks have a reason to rally and because psu banks have been have been uh, you know trading at a very still trading at a very cheap uh, valuation as compared to other banks valuation other, yeah private banks while if you see their books their books have kind of cleaned and uh, now the new npas that are forming up will will take time and they they are all set to lend higher with a you know better better yield for themselves one thing is that so i'm i'm bullish on banks and more on psu psu banks uh, but i wouldn't like to have them in my portfolio still i would go with some option strategies which is bullish on them like uh, i like canra bank uh, structure wise also it has broken out uh, uh, of uh, uh, like uh, uh, today itself above 246 this is very good for 270 280 kind of levels other other uh, uh, cnx energy has has been doing pretty well but now it has uh, you know um, retraced a lot now but uh if you see the chart now it is trying to again uh, uh, form form uh, take some support and bounce back once that happens i am still bullish on uh, cnx energy of of this you can uh, see bpcl is uh, bouncing back and i think bpcl has the capacity to do about uh, 5 7% from here itself cnx energy actually if you see on the daily chart it is uh, forming a small cup and hand, uh, it's forming a decent cup and handle uh, you know formation and above that there's a good 10 12% kind of rally which is possible so you can pick uh, stocks from this sector for for the next 10 15 days or so okay and how about pharma and if we are not 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 it does not look good still it does not look good there's a bounce from the uh, low uh, from the recent uh, lows but it needs to do a lot of work before uh, you know something substantial happens here uh, the best case scenario is pharma index may rally about uh, 2 3% higher but nothing more yeah, i mean most of the, the yeah full market the, support then probably it will uh, Uh, rally a bit, but the structure is not good. Acha, okay, okay, great. Structure is more like a falling structure. How about IT? IT index. Uh, IT has bounced back from a very strong support level, but uh, see, the support was violated and. and uh, the current bounce back in my view is more like uh, see it has again structural <laughs> headwinds for them whenever interest rates go higher everything every growth uh, oriented company okay and you have a lot of companies in it which are trading uh, at a higher multiple because we are expecting uh, you know very high growth rates from them so whenever uh, yields 10 uh, year yields uh, rises all the it companies all the growth oriented companies face headwinds their uh, profits will be under pressure and because you are giving them a very high multiple it will always fall below what the market is expecting or the what the analyst have factored in while creating their dcf uh, you know uh, sheets so it is a is giving a bounce back right now but the this bounce back is kind of a dead cat bounce back uh, it should take some uh, it will be under resistance very soon it is uh, yeah the, not mu- i don't think uh, it should rise uh, much from here maybe another 2 3% again on the it index individual names can do a little better or a little worse but it should uh, sh- should be going down further okay yeah, okay great great so now we have like seen most of the different sectors and the views for that But you are saying for the budget, maybe these sectors may rally up to two three percent, and after that, we don't know. We have to look at refer back again to the charts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
so uh, see nifty um, so for now it and bank nifty both are showing a little positive you know uh, momentum for couple of days maybe so nifty should be outperforming bank nifty for now and uh, once you know uh, you know uh, slowly bank nifty should start to outperform nifty as as it will again start to underperform this is what uh, is the premise on which i am i am like uh, betting on right you are absolutely right on this jatan it's uh, now i'll take it to you see today vix was up i mean quite up matlab so it's over 6% yeah, up. 6% up. yeah yeah so with this kind of increased volatility what should be the kind of strategy which people play on so basically i mean uh, you can do any uh, basically i i mean what i will do i will tell that so i won't do any naked things before the budget i mean i uh, basically uh, it's like volatility will be there might be sideways but after the budget i would be i won't be going for option buying because the premiums are so high so definitely there will be like a premium decay in that so strategies would be like if someone is uh, i mean can do the option selling they can do far otm with uh, i mean less quantity i would because i mean the chances of uh, hitting the stop loss would be high uh, because of the volatility or any side move generally like you can see 200 points or 300 points candle easily in bank nifty or more than 100 points candle uh, single candle in nifty 5 minutes kind of candle uh, so to avoid those that thing the better is like uh, you don't go naked option buying first thing this that will definitely will go i mean give the loss after the budget if you see that until and unless we don't see that uh, last year kind of 4% or uh, that sort of move that is like uh, not happens every time it's like uh, i mean once in a while but otherwise if it is like a 1 or 2% in a range uh, then you will see loss in the option buying strategy so you should not do for the option buying and option selling also even you, if like someone don't have the margin and they want to go for option buying they should be considering the spreads or ratio spread so if you do the ratio spreads also or the spreads uh, and you catch the direction so uh, because of the theta decay in the otm and the option buying that you are doing uh, will go in the i mean favor so it's like you will get benefit with the ratio spread and spread but a naked option buying i won't suggest you can do the op- uh, naked option selling as well but uh, that is like you should be having uh, some experience with the option selling that how far you are selling that what is the stop loss you are keeping because tomorrow stop loss will be uh, wide definitely for some time once the iv start uh, decreasing and the premium start decreasing uh, the uh, it may ec- increase your stop loss i mean the range but uh, initially you have to take care so uh, i mean these are the strategies that i would prefer uh, i mean based on the direction i may create the ratio spread or spread or generally i prefer option selling but uh, many people are not i mean that uh, they don't prefer the selling so for them they can go with the option buying spread or uh, the ratio spread okay hello uh, i let me just share this with all our audience today whatever we are sharing and discussing here these are not recommendations at all and these are only and only for knowledge purpose it's nothing more than that and the the views here are expressed of the i mean uh, the uh, guests uh, views are completely and completely their personal one and they are also sharing this only for your upgradation of knowledge so vivek what would be your kind of right strategy for tomorrow so uh, i have also created few ratio spreads where you know like 17600 uh, ke calls buy karke 17750 ke do calls ya teen calls sell kiya hua hai more hello yeah i, yeah, I guess we lost him yeah because even for me also the twitter crashed twice today yeah it happens with twitter space a lot mm. so vivek 
Yes. Vivek is back. Yeah, Vivek is back. Vivek, you can unmute your. Can you unmute yourself, please? Yeah, sorry. I've also gone for uh, okay. ratio spreads, where I've bought seventeen thousand six hundred calls and seventeen thousand seven hundred fifty k multiple calls. Right, kya hai? So again, uh, as you have already uh, mentioned, disclaimer is that this is just for learning purpose. Uh, this particular this particular spread, this ratio spread, is giving me a good upside, like three four percent ka upper me. protection de raha hai jahan i can you know if if after budget it looks like the market is going to go higher i can do a lot of things i can sell a put uh, you know at uh, an otm put or i can also buy far uh, i mean far expiry calls which will kind of uh, you know um, keep the structure such that that uh, it sustains the rally if, if at all it happens and there will be a benefit of the uh, decay Uh, which will happen tomorrow as ivs should crash most of the time ivs crash if uh, uh, after the events very rarely we have seen that even after the events the ivs have risen why because uh, you know uh, something has happened and uh, which was very out of the uh, out of the blue and uh, markets kind of took off uh, either on the bull side or the bear side like on the top on the higher side or the lower side most of the time ivs crashes after the event and that should happen tomorrow as well so that will give me a lot of scope a lot of uh, uh, you know area where i can um, uh, put my adjustments first thing is that second thing is i've also gone for calendar spreads uh, where i have sold feb um, uh, feb straddles and i've uh, long them up with uh, you know um, march strangles that way the structure is such that on nifty i'm i'm protected for next 4% on the upside and almost 4% on the downside so the total range is about 8% uh within that range i am comfortable i i, I don't think that uh, the market is going to crash completely or it is going to see going um, higher like uh, um will face a lot of trouble until unless something really good comes up and if it is so then we can obviously manage and that's why i've taken a monthly uh, calendar spreads so that we have got enough time to manage them and the you know the yield is also good so it's like about i've uh, 2.3 i've i've done it only for uh, four lots and it takes about uh, 2.3 lakhs and on that your your maximum gain is about 1. Uh, one 1 lakh approximately which is 50% obviously that is not going to come but you can of, uh, easily expect 4 5% to 8 9% depending upon how the market behaves from such strategies especially when uh, let's say the, after our honorable uh, finance minister starts speaking so uh, the ivs are going to crash yeah. so what kind of strategy one can look at that time instead of writing can someone that point of time at least look at buying and of course like spreads what do you suggest um see if if the if the uh, direction is clear so let's say uh, finance minister start speaking and uh, you see that uh, the uh, so whether on the downside or on the upside so i'm i'm assuming if your if your uh, sense of direction is clear then you can go deep in the money and buy there you won't face the issue of uh, you know uh, that uh, obviously the the impact of volatility will be there but it will be lesser uh, as compared to if you are doing this in the in the uh, atm options or the otm options so that you can do generally people don't prefer it until unless there's a very strong uh, uh, you know down move or the up move Uh, we don't prefer buying you you play with the spreads that's the best uh, best scenario people who have less uh, you know uh, capital they should play with spreads don't play naked as as uh, uh, jatin also mentioned don't play naked or if if you are willing to play naked because uh, uh, you know naked option buying also has some benefits so if you are willing to play naked then go with very very conservative uh, position sizing uh, if you don't make money in one day aap ek bar mein aise bhi agar aap 
टाटा बिरला बनने का सोच रहे हो तो वो नहीं बनने वाले हो सो so, अप, अपना रिस्क अपना पोर्टफोलियो अपना कैपिटल देख करके उसके हिसाब से बाइंग करो और अगर नॉर्मल डेज में चार लॉट बाई करते हो तो इस बार सिर्फ एक लॉट बाई करो एंड सी हाउ इट परफॉर्म्स बहुत ज्यादा तुरंत में बहुत ज्यादा एक्साइटेड होके बहुत लॉट्स एक बार में बाई करना आई थिंक पीपल हैव लॉस्ट ह्यूज मनी बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वो जो एक फोमो वाला टाइप एक फोमो आ जाता है उसकी वजह से सो अवॉइड दैट एटलीस्ट ऑन क्रेजी वो लाइटिटी डेज लाइक टूमोरो इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड it's so true so true so jatan can you tell us like how should you keep uh, how should we keep managing our risks so uh, like we were said we shouldn't be jumping so generally what uh, retails or i mean i also used to do in my initial years is like when we see some announcement uh, from uh, uh, like madam or fm right so what happens is you will see sudden spike in the candles it's, so it may be like a big red candle or a big green candle and sometime it's on the sector also like you are seeing that okay something is good for this sector and people start jumps and buy so many lots of that particular Uh, counter or like index that uh, I mean may, even I have seen that I have seen uh, feedback from people that they bought ten lots and and they even uh, like not managing the risk they just said uh, saw that okay this is a big r- green candle so it's going to be up only but that is just a spike and it happens once the news come out so let's uh, get it settled and after once you take the position also uh, like whatever you are buying right do it's like half the quantity and once you are clear about the direction or that it's going you can increase the quantity because initially you have to go with uh, your sl would be definitely white uh, i mean tomorrow because of the volatility so uh, like you are buying 10 lots go with 5 lots or you are going with 2 lots go with 1 lots initially and once you have conviction and that okay this is going in favor you can slowly increase your risk but not in the first go yes so true and the funniest part if someone is already has kept a position and when there is a sudden spike in the futures or in the cash you know option premiums i have seen it doesn't change much it stays so constant so i mean they they feel that it's so trap i mean it has happened with me personally so in my beginning days when i started so i can relate to what you said uh it's better to stay out for some time and or trade with lesser quantity so uh vivek yeah overall you see the vix has increased of course post budget post budget post the complete when the event is over how yeah. should one trade because the volatility has also increased and it will just not become zero so it will still be there so how should one trade i mean what kind of strategies should look well i mean writing so, uh, so data uh, as i said that as of now data is looking a little bullish but if you see the if you see overall headwinds in the in the markets uh it there's a very uh, it will be very difficult for the market to keep moving up from here even if we don't fall probably we will uh, keep on you know like oscillating between a certain range so if you can if, if you can define a range looking at the charts okay where you find maximum support and where there has been a very decisive a very clear resistance one can go and sell uh, you know strangles over there second thing you can do is uh, ratio spreads again work very well uh, in scenarios where you are you know like you know that uh, you are not going to violate a certain certain level so let's say if i am seeing that probably 17600 crossing 17600 and sustaining above that will be very difficult for the markets from here on so i can simply buy 17500 call and sell 17600 two lots or 17700 three lots something like that we can do and once if if uh, technically we are proven wrong that the market is actually rising beyond the levels which we were expecting then probably there you can 
uh, either adjust that or simply uh, take off your uh, take off your uh, uh, trade and place some uh, so a new trade depending upon the new uh, data and uh, levels that you can do second thing is uh, will the volatility go down yes for the for the time being the volatility should go down but there's a lot of see uh, why rate hike is is very i mean uh, this uh, fed rate hike is the impact of that is not going to go away is because our world in the last 10 years has taken a lot of debt okay so a lot uh, there are companies uh, there are countries where the debt level is like 2x 3x of what their gdp is even for us the corporate debt is 300% of their gdp it has never been so in the you know last uh, 50 100 years whatever whatever history we have got right now it has never been the case so if anyone is see, uh, thinking that um, you know fed rate hike ka ho gaya abhi ek bar ye log bol diye jo bhi ho raha hai but iska jo impact aane wala hai wo impact kafi lamba jaane wala hai agar 25 basis points bhi jab rate hike hota hai to uski wajah se jo I think uh, Vivek is having some issue. He's just going to join back. So that is very true. I think the message which is coming across uh, from you, Jatin. Yeah, uh, I can. Yeah. So from you, primarily is as well as from Vivek that the resistance, there are a lot of resistance around. So, how would you? Uh, what would be your choice, Jatin? Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't get your questions. I mean, uh, suppose I'm... the volatility. Uh, so, suppose the budget as a event after it gets over, mm-hmm. how should we look at the markets and how should we start trading? So, I mean, generally, what I do is <coughs> I, uh, I like uh, we get. the budget what in, it's in the budget right so based on that you can create your watch list basically which sectors uh, dev, uh, like for it it generally if you know that it doesn't get anything from the budget right so that is like uh, it has its own uh, things uh, that has nothing to do with the budget right so i mean uh, that you can uh, like separate out from the budget but other things themes that uh, are like uh, depends on the budget whether there is any uh incentive for part- particular sector or not so that you can keep eye on at uh, on that particular sector not the particular day you can like just jump on to that and uh, start trading uh, if something is not like uh, i mean very good otherwise you can have the okay this sector is like going to be benefit so keep some i mean give some time that uh, i mean uh, if i talk from the top technical perspective that give some time that volatility to to get settle and if it looks that okay the margins market uh, is digesting that news positively or negatively accordingly you can create the position because end of the day you will see that uh, that uh, news is digested whatever like it's a posit- uh, positive or negative news so based on and that will reflect on the chart and you can uh, take your positions accordingly not necessary that you need to create a position just after the speech right So you're saying just wait after when I post that after your budget trade is over, one should wait on the side and maybe look at next day after the volatility reduces, the jerks yes. are over and then look at putting in. Yes. There's one question which has come, which is like, should we change the time? Frame? That is like for intraday traders, so people who trade intraday and they want to play on the budget. so they are asking like if should we look at 3 minutes if someone is looking at 3 minutes time frame should they step up and use 5 minutes charts or someone who is using 5 minutes chart should step down to 3 minutes charts no 3 minute and 5 minutes is really less on the events like uh, tomorrow i mean because uh, in 5 minutes your target may hit or your stop loss may hit twice like that so that is really short time frame to look at on the chart i mean because the candles would be big so i would suggest better to look on the i mean if you are looking looking for intraday positional 
uh, with wider stop loss you can go with the like at least 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes would be uh, nice 5 minutes would be i mean normal days we use 5 minutes but uh, for the event days i generally look for at least 2 to 3 candles uh, even for 5 minutes then i take my positions that's around 15 minutes candle yes yes exactly yeah, right right vivek uh, what would be your advice to the retail traders for tomorrow your final advice to all the retail traders who are listening to you tomorrow so try to you know uh, try to be on the safe side with uh, a lesser position don't take very uh, you know uh, aggressive bets tomorrow there will be another days as well tomorrow will uh, simply frustrate you because there's a very high probability that you will go wrong reason being it's not like you will go wrong like uh, you'll put the trade and you'll go r- uh, wrong the problem will be you will probably see profit and this, that profit will immediately turn into losses it's it, it has happened very uh, uh, you know because a lot of things are already priced in the market and uh, in events such as uh, budget uh you never know that uh, what is priced in and what is not so the asymmetry of information is very high tomorrow and uh, even if you are trying to do it with charts you have to be very very careful while doing it try with a very small quantity if you are starting out D- don't uh, jump on what uh, you know if if let's say uh the fm says that we have got a very nice package for real estate don't just jump on and buy every real estate company at that point of time this is my pers- personal mistake that were uh, that happened like 6 7 8 month uh, years back when i bought dlf and dlf crashed like 7% after uh, fm uh, you know announced that they have got a very good package for the real estate companies so these are the things and uh, there will be more days uh, once events see generally what happens uh, we have a habit of jumping into some trades if we are we are seeing some opportunity we want to encash that as soon as possible but many a time you know as we call in business uh, circles that second mover advantage is also there it's not always that first mover has all the advantages second movers also have advantages so once uh, you know the the trend is set for the day that market has made up a mind that it is going to go up or the market has made up a mind that it is going to go down at that point of time go with a higher uh, quantity most likely you will succeed if you you know like pehle wo aakar ke budget se pehle hi bolna shuru ki aur you started uh, you know anticipating and putting your uh, trades there is a very high chance that either your stop loss goes or uh, your day ends not that good so yeah thank you thank you vivek i still remember you know sometimes you know the mistake which happens people trade intraday using news flows and i have seen people getting ruined because of that like you said it, they gave very good news for you know it was a good news for the uh, what is called housing sector yeah but instead of moving up it started moving down if someone would have followed charts almost yeah and if someone would have followed charts you know they would have actually show went short no actually That's- actually what happens what uh, jatan has also pointed out that as soon as the fm says that there's a package there's a package for uh, let's say psu banks or uh, let's say farmers not farmers uh, let's say fertilizer companies okay they are uh, doing something for the seed companies wagera wagera you will see that all of a sudden there's a very high spike a green candle formed and it will be above the previous level yes it moves above the previous highs and then creates a long tail above and that's very scary yeah i guess we lost him again yeah so okay jatin what would be your final advice to all the traders who are listening to you today so my advice would be like uh, same what vivek said that go with the less quantity as i mean so for example you want to take 5000 risk okay i mean on 
uh, something that is for i mean like uh, 100 quantities if you want to take 5 50 rupees risk right it would be like uh, 500 uh, like uh, uh, 50 rupees with 50 rupees stop loss right 5000 uh, risk you want to take so reduce the quantity and take the same i mean uh, put the stop loss wider because tomorrow i mean it's high probability that your stop loss will get hit so with the same risk you can reduce i mean uh, you can widen your stop loss and go with the lesser quantity so that is how i, I mean it's better way to approach that to go with the lesser quantity and wider stop loss so that uh, it doesn't get hit easily in the volatility great so thank you very much jatin for your time vivek uh, thank you very much for sharing so many insights with us we learned today that the markets we are expecting something populist budget maybe but still it will be bullish for the market and after a certain upside movement like we have seen in the open interest uh, which both vivek and jatin had explained that there will be a good resistance on the upside and from there maybe we may get to see some correction but we may not so we have to be prepared for all and keep on monitoring our charts our indicators and play safe uh, like uh, i think vivek said that uh, one should not wait into the fomo thing that we fear of losing out that it's okay one day if you don't trade if you missed out the trade it's okay one day if you trade with lesser quantity it's absolutely fine and one day if you hedge your position that's great like jatin said so keep hedging and be safe tomorrow but do make money so we have overall a great indian outlook for india is very good globally the jitters will always be there so for investors the story is different but for traders like vivek and jatin both said be cautious manage it manage your risk that's the story about today right jatin vivek yeah this yeah. management is the key for tomorrow for tomorrow i mean the best thing you can do is manage your risk yes so thank you vivek thank you jatin for sharing your experience with us and making us cautious and thank you lovely audience who are there today attending this short of hours today do write to us do attend many of these budget uh, sessions which we are conducting now and do write to us direct message us you can direct message us jatin vivek you can direct message me and paytm as well and we will definitely be in touch with you and we are always there to help you thank you very much have a great trading session tomorrow thank All you thank you, so much. Thank, you everyone. thank you everyone thank you everyone thank you everyone thank you thank you arsh for organizing this show for us thank you everyone Thank you. All the best.